I would like to ask both of you, since you study in TU Braunschweig uh, in computational science, mm -hmm. um, can you talk just specific admission? How do I get admission here in this uh, particular university? Yeah, actually, I just came here a few months back, uh, September 2017. So basically what I did is that uh, I collected all the documents. Uh, as Sandeep has already mentioned, the list of documents what we require. The first thing what I did is that I downloaded the application form from TU Braunschweig website, filled the all required details, did all the attestations, attestations and everything, courier to university and along with that one thing is mandatory you will have to pay application fee otherwise your application would not be complete. So after doing all these things you will receive a confirmation mail from the university that your application is complete and you will you can participate in the application of the TU Braunschweig. So, so just uh, in uh, you know with your permission and interruption mm -hmm. so you said you have to pay some money yeah where do i get this information where do which bank to pay ah yeah actually you can get each and every detail from the uh, website of university okay you know, like for example iban number and everything it is mentioned on the website okay okay yeah. so once you courier this hard copy mm -hmm. um and along with application and the list of documents what you just said yeah uh, you get a email yeah exactly and they invite you for this exam what is this exam called yeah, its exam is called fit for you okay fit for you itself means that whether you are fit for this course or not so okay. will, it will give you an idea of the course that this many kind of uh, modules will be there in the course okay so from that moment only you will you can imagine yourself in which stream you are going to be right does that full is of mathematics and everything okay okay yeah. got it is that a deciding factor uh, not that much, but I would say to take take it a little bit seriously. Otherwise, mm, okay. uh, I mean, it's not science to take this kind of test. But it's not a rocket science. I no, can't not at all. I okay, mean, okay. It's related to more or less undergraduate courses, what you already taken. Okay, so once I give this exam, mm -hmm. um, after how long do I get mm -hmm. the results? For this test, it would I would say it took almost uh, one week or two week. In your case. Yeah. Okay. But. Uh, the decision, I mean, the decision of that acceptance in the program is a little bit time taking. Okay. I got result approximately after three months of my application. Ah, so, so the final admission decision you got after three months. Three of, months of application, yeah. Oh my God! Okay. So, so, so once your result out, uh, you can go ahead with certain things in your mind. For example, visa application process, Deutsche Bank account, and third is accommodation. I would say go ahead with a Deutsche Bank account because it may take some time. After doing that, you can apply for accommodation into your Braunschweig. And third thing is apply for visa application as in, as as soon as possible. It is because it is nowadays it's taking too much time for having visa interview date. Since you come from Gujarat and he comes from Hyderabad, yeah. um, so actually Sandeep went to uh, Chennai and you have to go to Mumbai, Mumbai right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, how's traffic in Mumbai? I mean, not as in road traffic, but traffic as in getting an ad, uh, appointment. Yeah, it's like kind of horrible situation for me because I heard that from my friends that it's going to be very tough for me. So I apply a little bit late considering that after I, I apply for the visa application uh, after getting the hard copy of admission letter, but it's not at all required. Just having an email copy of your uh, admission letter, you can apply as well. So as, an, as soon as you got admission uh, from TU Braunschweig via email, you can definitely apply immediately. So there is definitely a, uh, I mean, very it's a kind of high rush for the visa application. Right, right. Do you guys think CGPA really matters in the selection process, um, especially for TU Braunschweig? I would say yes, definitely it matters. Keep in mind, in case you don't have very high CGPA, then you can definitely improve your profile by doing some kind of internships in research institute for example as Sandeep already did also you can take GATE course a GATE exam GRE exam so those kind of uh, exams can improve your profile as well but thing is that no nothing can triple CGPA okay yeah. okay and also the overall score is important I mean German grade N do not get uh, disappointed when you have 65 percentage so you are minimum requirement in the university may be less so just convert it to german grade yeah. and the other thing when you have less germ with less grade uh, and you are sure that in your university people are not scoring good marks please take the 
grading certificate from the university which says that you stand at top 10 position or top 2 position you are, or you are the topper of the in the batch yeah. that will definitely add you uh, add something to your profile that's a, actually a smart solution for if someone who is you know some if some colleges have uh, like they they're not scoring well like the top score would be like 70 but and as per German standards, like 70 is like not much, right? Yeah. So that's a great solution, um, you know. Um, the other question which I wanted to ask you both is actually mainly for Vishal. Yeah. Um, you have eight years of experience. Yeah. And you've come back Even to studies, <laughs> right? Yeah, definitely. Um, what do you see? Like, does this course has a scope in this country? Yeah, I would say many scopes because... I have heard that also not only heard but I have experienced that there are many industries which are good, uh, related to simulation stuff so the thing is that I had experience of 8 years but that was related to my course so that is the prime factor which you should consider the thing is that you should have I mean you will have for example different kind of experience you are, you are applying for different course then it's not at all relevant okay all right yeah. so scope is all scope are always always there Given that you will have experience in the relevant field. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Do you have any like a rough idea what kind of jobs I should look out for uh, mm -hmm. after completing this course? Mm -hmm. I'm basically I'm interested in fluid mechanics. So I would be looking for, for example, uh, fluid mechanics analysis, uh, aerodynamics analysis, any automotive industries or also aerospace industries are doing some kind of stuff. So I can have like internship or further opportunities in future in this right. kind of industries yeah what do you think sandeep yeah um i am basically into solid mechanics and i am particularly dealing with uh, computational material sciences which i am interested uh, especially regarding adhesive research and rubber technology so in germany there is a huge demand in this field there is a european research for rubber research and there is a, a research huge research going on adhesive i did not know before I was taking these courses. So, um, I'll say that uh, even though your CGPA is not good during masters, the, even though you are having the minimum requirement required CGPA, companies do know that the course is complicated and uh, uh, in most of the industries, they'll give a fluid red carpet for you. They'll completely accept you uh, based on your course. Hmm. It has a huge demand in Germany. 